How long does it take 90% of a sample of strontium-90, half-life of 28.8 years, to decay? Here we have a half-life problem. And the first thing that they tell us is the half-life itself. The half-life, which we'll represent as T half, is equal to 28.8 years. The half-life formula that you should know is the following. T half is equal to ln 2 over n. If we substitute 28.8 into T half, we can find our n value. Let's do that. 28.8 is equal to ln 2 over n. If we rearrange this, multiply both sides by n, and then divide subsequently by 28.8, we end up with the following. n is equal to ln 2 over 28.8. That said, we can use our calculator to find out the answer. Ln 2 divided by 28.8 gives us 0 0.02406. 0 0.02406. Just to double check. That's it. Now what that means is that's our rate. So technically what this means is if we multiply this by 100%, it's around 2.4% per year. Now, this doesn't solve our answer, our problem. Our problem is asking how long does it take for 90% of a sample of strontium-90? So 90% of it will go away, leaving only 10%. And here we have an exponentially decaying problem, so we're going to use the following formula. Y is equal to A e to the power of negative nt, where we have our n value, we don't have our t value, which is what we're looking for, how long will it take? And similarly, do we have our a value? Well, let's find out. Let's plug in what we know. We know that at the end of this time that we're looking for, only 10% of the original will remain. So our y value will actually be 0.1 of your original a, which we don't know about. We, we don't know our a value. So we can replace this value into our formula, which gives us 0.1 a is equal to another a value, which we don't know. We don't know how much we're starting with. e to the power of negative 0.024. 06, you want to be as accurate as possible, and t. So what you'll notice is that you have an a on the left side and a on the right side. So if we divide both sides by a, we end up with the following. 0 0.1 is equal to e to the power of negative 0.02406t. Next, we need to isolate for t. Now, the only way to isolate for t in a situation like this would be to lawn both sides. So let's do that. If we lawn both sides, we end up with this. Lawn e power of 0.02406t. Now, according to the log rules, the power rule specifically, we have a power here. So that would go at the front. And we would end up with lawn 0 0.1 is equal to negative 0.02406t ln e, which we know, if you plug this into your calculator, you will get a 1. So technically what we have is the following. ln 0 0.1 is equal to t, which... I'm skipping a step here, but I'll divide both sides by negative 0 0.02406. We end up with this. Let me just increase the space here. 0 0.02406. And now we will use our calculator to find out what our t value is. Lon 0.1 divided by negative 0 0.02406, that is equal to 95. 
95.7. And given that we've been using years here, we'll say that this is 95.7 years. So it will take 95.7 years for 90% of that original mass of strontium to go away. So if, hypothetically, if we had a slab of strontium 90, 100 grams, let's say, it would take 95.7 years for you to only have 10 grams left. I hope this video has helped you. Uh, make sure that you subscribe and also feel free to ask questions. I'll be here to answer them.